Welcome back to the Kapower Hour. I'm Lauren Powell. And I'm Sean Casey. And together we are the, the Kapows. Kapow! We are also pregnant. Kapregnant. <laughs> How does that feel to say that out loud? It feels weird. I feel like I just slipped up. Yeah, you've been kind of a hermit. It doesn't feel real to say it out loud because mm -hmm. we've not been saying it out loud for so long. Feels kind of strange to be telling the internet, especially for you. It's been really hard to hide. It's been hard to keep it a secret. It's so weird when so much of our content is based around what's going on in our day. Like I've barely posted my Instagram story because every thought in my head has something to do with pregnancy. And so I just feel like I have been silenced, obviously self-imposed. Mm -hmm. And now I'm ready to get loud. <laughs> Can't wait to see what's coming. Get ready. <laughs> we just announced our pregnancy this week to the internet and not very long ago we announced it to our friends and family finally after hiding it for a very long time how you told me was pretty cute when i found out you were out of town you were on a bachelor party <laughs> well a i wanted to tell you in person obviously and get your reaction i didn't want to tell you over the phone but the last thing i wanted to do was like interrupt a bachelor party <laughs> i was like let me not put that on him right now finally you come home and I was trying to think of like clever ways to to tell you how I was going to do it. And I thought the best way to do it would be through White Claw. And so, <laughs> Naturally. yeah, so you get home from the airport and I sat on the counter. I took three pregnancy tests because one is not a certain. Yeah. And I taped them to the back of a White Claw box. And then on the front of the White Claw box, I said, do not open for nine months. Yeah. And I filmed it. Did doing... you hide a camera? Yeah. Oh, you didn't know that? No. Yeah, I hit a camera. But you know how you filmed me when you proposed to me? Yeah. And I hate watching that footage because yeah. I'm so vulnerable. It's this like personal moment. Yeah. I haven't watched it back because I know I cried and I'm like, I don't know if I'm prepared to watch that. But I have it on camera somewhere. I want to watch it. Okay, I'll let you watch it. <laughs> so that's how I told you. And I was not in that mindset or, you know, just like a completely <laughs> caught off guard. Probably so. hungover. Probably hungover. And then I guess the next cute way that we told people was how we told family the White Claw nature of me telling you was one of the many brands I feel like <laughs> I have. Mm -hmm. Another one we share is Harry Potter, our love for Harry Potter. So we found this like cute announcement idea, I think probably on Pinterest. It was the Marauders map and one of our ultrasound photos in the middle. Mm -hmm. And it said, I solemnly swear that we've been up to no good. I think they're talking about sex. <laughs> uh-huh uh-huh and so then we texted that to our parents that was fun but anticlimactic i feel like nobody has really appreciated my marauders map art <laughs> but maybe it was just like it's people are too excited about the pregnancy aspect to be yeah. like well gee how did you make that and i'd be like well let me tell you about this thing <laughs> called canva okay, what's wrong with me that i'm like hey guys i know you're really excited about the baby but what do you think of the <laughs> please artwork? appreciate my, my photoshopping work <laughs> figuring out how to tell the internet that we went through a couple different ideas again trying to stay like on brand and thematic for what's us and i think also you know we did this with our wedding we do this with our life like we we like to do things our own way and kind of going against the grain so like the video had to be something that was not just hey we're pregnant yeah you know so just us with an ultrasound right like, right we nothing too sappy no, not no. a lot of feelings very <laughs> few feelings if any actually there's this tiktok star her name's elise myers she's an amazing content creator she tells really good stories she's pregnant as well um she announced a few months ago and one of the things that she said her advice was like hey if you're announcing to the internet be direct don't be clever don't try to be cute because you will then spend the majority of your pregnancy announcing your pregnancy because you're assuming that people are going to watch more than the first three seconds of your video mm -hmm. if you're trying to like hide a, a hidden message in there mm -hmm. so we ignored that advice <laughs> completely. <laughs> now everyone knows, probably no one knows, and we'll be doing this for several weeks. <laughs> hiding it from the internet has been almost as hard as hiding it from friends and family. Yeah, people are, people are smart. It's the Taylor Swift era of like investigating and looking for clues <laughs> and just like, I swear, I, like the first video we put out that wasn't, didn't have anything to do with alcohol. I got so many comments from people saying, she's pregnant, I know it. That she has so many comments that I had to actually add comment <laughs> filter on my social media so that it would hide, automatically hide. Comments. And not just like, there's, there's a lot of ways to call someone pregnant. <laughs> 
Okay. Are you on Urban Dictionary just looking at all the different? <laughs> so I had my keyword list was like pregnant, pregnancy, preggers, prego, the pregnant emoji. Um, oh, you can filter out emojis. emojis. Huh. Yeah. So I had this long list based on the comments I was getting where I thought I would, you know, filter out one word and I'd be fine. And then I'd get a new comment. I'd be like, crap. And then hiding from friends was really hard. Basically, we just avoided people for two months straight. I just was like, I can't because, because people are so like, why don't you have a drink in your hand? And I'm like, maybe I'm cutting back. Probably not. But maybe. <laughs> what if I wanted to try, you know? Yeah, which I mean, we went out a couple times and we're like, oh, Disaster. we just we just got back from Vegas, you know. Yeah. Well, we'll take we're taking the weekend off. I did have a I had this bartender um, at this restaurant at, um, in La Jolla recognized me and she was like, oh, can I buy you a shot? And I had to be like, I'm hungover. I can't I can't have a drink right now. And that worked. It's yeah. just nice of her to not pry. Well, and then especially when you meet people who know you from your content, yeah. like the expectation is, yeah. oh, I'm meeting Lauren. Let's have a drink together. Yeah. yeah. That's the other thing is how much I've had to like buy fake dr real drinks, hold them in public to either fool anyone who might see me or to fool our friends. And then I would just... I don't know if I should put this information out there, but I threw away so many full beverages. College Lauren. Would She'd be disgusted. Yeah. So I would just be holding a beverage just so people wouldn't ask, where's your drink or wonder about my drink. And then when they weren't looking, I would throw it away. Yeah. It's, oh. it's kind of sad that like you can't just not have a drink. Like, Without it being yeah. questioned. Yeah. And then like one of our friends, I bought a drink and then she bought another drink for everyone. And I was like, you, I wasn't done with mine. You really didn't have to do that. So then I had to throw away two full white claws. That one hurt. <sighs> and it's expensive mm -hmm. to waste booze. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Yeah. Hiding it from family, it was hard too, because obviously I talk to my parents all the time and they've been really, really good about just like leaving that topic alone, yeah. Um, which I really appreciated them. But when we went to one of our one of our appointments, yeah, one of our first appointments, and we had an ultrasound, and we got all good news, and we were really excited. And like we were walking out of the ultrasound room, we we're still in the hospital, still in the hospital, and I get a phone call from my mom. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just like looking around, like, am I being punked right now? Like, did she? Did I? Did she know where my location I is? Or I had that thought of like she knows. Yeah, I was just I had to laugh. I got to say, it is like hiding it from everyone has been so stressful. So now you're out in the open. Yeah. Just Flaunting it. <laughs> Wearing your prego suit. Oh, yeah. No, it's a it's called a bump suit. A bump suit. Prego suit. I don't know. And ordering mocktails has not been any easier for you to hide, right? No, that's been a disaster too. It's like there was this one restaurant we went to with some friends we hadn't told yet. And they had a whole mocktail list. Which is a win. Yeah. It's surprising how many places don't do that yet. Mm -hmm. You don't notice till you need it. Mm -hmm. But they had a whole mocktail list with just regular drink names. Nothing that was like, ooh, virgin mojito, you know, fojito, mm -hmm. nothing like that, which that's really good. <laughs> and so I was able to just ask the waitress for this drink name. And so, you know, my friends wouldn't have any idea what I had just ordered. And then she has the audacity to be like, you know, that doesn't have any alcohol in it, right? In front of everyone. I was so mad. I was so mad. I was like, yeah, that's why I ordered it. The whole point of the mocktail menu is, yes, you know there's no alcohol in it. Right. It was in a separate area. Ugh. And then, like, that time you went to dinner with your brother and his wife. Oh, yeah, kings and queens. I mean, look, I know it is not the responsibility of the restaurant to be a part of my charade. Yeah. Right? But I, like, flagged down the waiter privately after he took our drink order. And I was like, do you have any mocktails because they didn't on their menu. And I was like, can you do any of your drinks without tequila? And it, it'll be like really discreet so that when you bring it out, they don't, can't, doesn't look any different from the other margaritas. That's the key part. Doesn't look any different than the other margaritas, right? And I told him, I was like, look, I know you're really busy. This restaurant's packed. If you don't have time for this, not a big deal. I will just deal with it. Mm -hmm. And he assured me, he was like, no, no, I can do it. I was like, okay, but you have to be the one to bring this out. Another waiter cannot bring this drink out because when they do, they're inevitably going to call it virgin something, right? So I was like, you have to be the one to bring it out to me. Does he, do you understand? He was like, yeah, yeah, I will. Don't worry. I get it. I got it. I got you. Right. So I was like, okay. Narrator. He did not get me. <laughs> yeah. I could not make this up. So they bring out everyone's drinks, but mine. 
And then, a, then a, I see it coming. It is, they make such a fuss about this stupid virgin margarita that I see it coming towards our table. And I'm like, that is not discreet. <laughs> so this guy who is not our waiter walks up with this massive souvenir cup. That has like lights in it. It's like it flashing. flashing. <laughs> and he goes, virgin margarita? And we're at a table, there's like six of us. And I turn bright red and I just look at him and I go, not this table. (laughs) And I just straight up lied. And I was, I was just like, ha, no, nobody here would be drinking that loser. (laughs) And I, I wasn't really aware what was going on. I mean, no one else at the table was either. We're just like, oh, that's super weird. And like, he came right to our table. And then the waiter goes and intercepts it and brings it over and puts it right in front of me in the stupid flashing souvenir cup. (laughs) Hey, come look at the non-alcoholic drink sitting in front of me. (laughs) I was just like, bro, you told me that you, I was like, can you do a discreet virgin margarita? He's like, oh yeah, I got you. We, we have this virgin margarita. It's going to be great. Do you know what the word discreet means? Yeah, maybe he he did not know what discreet means. I could not believe that was just a <laughs> comedy of errors. Yeah. Tragedy of errors. So now, now that you're, you're out and pregnant. No, I have more. Oh, okay. We're not moving Do you on. know, then the other place we went to dinner, they were like, here's your drink, extra vodka. <laughs> and I was just like, can, can we just bring out drinks, not, not acknowledge anything and just put it down on the table and walk away. Can we do that? I, I want that for you. Well, now I don't need it. <laughs> so what what is let let's let's talk to the restaurant industry. What is what is your wish? I wish that if possible there were there was like a separate mocktail section of every yep. for every menu, not just for pregnant women, for anyone. Pe- anyone, yep. right? And I wish that all the waiters were trained in discretion. Mm-hmm. And like let's not make a fuss about people who are ordering non-alcoholic beverages yeah isn't aren't na drinks like a big thing now yeah which is i mean great yeah that'd be really cool if they actually had restaurants and bars started carrying more na drinks right now all i've really found is like na beer and Mm -hmm. rarely do i even find that Mm -hmm. we found one awesome fake tequila oh yeah what was the name of that brand Uh, it's ritual ritual and it's like a mezcal and so i bought it and then we made a margarita out of it. And it, because of the mezcal, I don't know, it's like smoky. Mm-hmm. And it tastes, it tastes like a real spicy margarita. Yeah. I had it and I'm like, I wouldn't know that there's not alcohol in here. I was shocked. Yeah. That's been kind of a good sort of in between, right? If we've had a lot of trouble going out for drinks, like, all right, screw yeah. it, let's just have drinks at home. And the drinks at home, the like pre-made NA drinks, those are so hit or miss. Yeah. Okay. So we're in the second trimester. Now. Now. First trimester was was pretty rough for you. Yeah. Aside from hiding from everyone, I yeah. also just was so nauseous. I like couldn't get off the couch. Like our couch now has a Lauren indentation. Indent. <laughs> yeah, it was it was rough. You were down for the count every day. Every day. And I would stand up and just feel so sick that I would start crying. And the only thing that would make me stop crying was Chick fil A. <laughs> it's like the only thing that sounded appetizing was mm-hmm. like fast food. Yeah. I was, I was a little worried for you. I didn't, really? you know, I knew first trimester was rough um, for people, but I'd never really seen you like that. Yeah. And you know, it seemed, you know, depression is also something that's common. And so it was, I didn't really know what to do. Yeah. Um, it's hard to trying to make it as easy as possible for you, but seeing you in that like physical pain and just, yeah, it was, it's hard. Yeah. And not being able to make content and then not having anything that like you know when i make videos it's like a dopamine rush when Mm -hmm. i upload one and Mm -hmm. so i just wasn't making any content so that kind of fed into i did watch i will say i rewatched laguna beach (laughs) the one positive of the first trimester oh man what a roller coaster (laughs) rewatching that i rewatched the oc i rewatched a lot of tv in that time and just slept a lot that's the good thing about being self-employed yeah. Oh my gosh. Exactly. I don't know how women do it who have to go into, who have to leave their house for their job. How you do that just when you just feel sick all the time. Like, thankfully, I was able to be a lazy POS and just like lay on my couch t- till I felt better. But if I had to go somewhere for my job, I don't know how women do it. Yeah. But we're out of that. I mean, that's crazy. They say, they say like, oh, the second trimester is going to get easy. And when you're in the first trimester, I was like, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. I I don't see this ever ending. And then one day you wake up and it's just like, it's gone, gone. Second trimester has been easy. I had moved my like laptop 
I made like a laptop station that I could lay down on the couch <laughs> while accessing my computer. I finally moved that back into the office. Yep. So how has it been for you not drinking? I think that's a, that's a question that everyone's wondering. Honestly, easier than I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's harder in social scenarios. Mm -hmm. It's easy except when I'm around everyone who I'm around drunk people. Mm -hmm. And you're just like, wow, is this what I was like? <laughs> you know, I but like never being hungover is pretty great. Yeah. Even though I swear my body is conditioned to just be hungover on Sundays and eat drunk food. <laughs> yeah, I've come home from some trips and, and like you're like, let's just lay on the couch and watch TV and order food. And I'm uh, like, okay. I mean, honestly, being pregnant is a lot like being hung over all the time. <laughs> Tired, craving junk food. Yeah. Don't want to do anything. What's what's the funniest thing or weirdest thing that you've noticed about drunk people? Um, You. <laughs> you are like, I had no idea you were like this, but a few weekends ago. Uh -oh. <laughs> You're like, when it comes to like drunk eating food, you're like a raccoon in a trash can. <laughs> <laughs> like I walked in on you a few weekends ago. We were all in Temecula on this trip and with a bunch of friends. I walk in on you and you're just like, you don't even see. Your, it's, your eyes are open, but no one's home. <laughs> and you're just eating food in the kitchen. Just cannot stop. And I like, wasn't even that drunk. Yeah. <laughs> you were raccoon level. I don't know. What did I walk in on? <laughs> Are you embarrassed? No, I've told you like when I'm, so I think the thing is like one, we don't keep like junk food in the house. Yeah. So like I'm, I'm fine when the food's not there. Do you remember that one time when we first moved in together and it was like, oh, we can't have snacks in the house. We're both bad people. We yeah. cannot. And I came home drunk and I just ate like a half container of uh, gummy vitamins. <laughs> I forgot about that until right now. Yeah. It's like where there's a will, there's a way. Yeah. I think it's really interesting that your your answer was like it's pretty easy. Like it's mm -hmm. it's not you're not actually craving the alcohol. It's like you're just the social the social, norm, social normalcy of, of having a drink. Yeah. And then the other thing about you not drinking is that our Costco bill has <laughs> decreased dramatically. Who knew? I just thought this whole time we were spending hundreds of dollars on food at Costco. And then when you suddenly stop buying ten bottles of wine every trip. Yeah, it's the wine. Wow. And you've been drinking less. Yeah, I've been drinking a lot less too. Be out of solidarity? Yeah, out of solidarity. I think it's just not like I don't want to be drinking in front of you if you can't. But you've been really good about it. Like I'll we'll go out to dinner and you're like, you should order a drink. Like order a glass of wine. I want someone to have that. Like, order a glass drink. of wine because I'm going to order french fries and three appetizers. <laughs> so, so is that, is that you're just like, all right, you eat, you drink the calories, you I'll won't eat notice. the calories. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, absolutely. I will say the biggest crock of shit is like when I first got pregnant and, and I didn't know what to do or what, what to expect or whatever. So I go on Pinterest to just look up pregnant, whatever. What, what you got for me, Pinterest, right? And you get inundated with how to have a belly only pregnancy, which is them being like, how to not gain, how to diet while you're pregnant, how to like, mm. ugh, that's a crock of shit. And then I've learned that all these like cute influencers out there rocking all the cute pregnancy clothing, they're like 5'1". And genetically <laughs> very small and their bodies don't have any fat on them. And so for me to expect my body is going to look like theirs in this the, like time of my life is outrageous. Mm -hmm. Anyway. So everyone, obviously the next question they ask when they find out that we're pregnant is mm -hmm. do we know the gender yet? And we technically know, but we don't know that we know, you know? You've said that a few times and it's like the worst way to describe it. <laughs> We have the information on a piece of paper in an envelope, but we haven't looked at it. We want to do a gender reveal, but it's more like we want to have a, like a celebratory moment when we both find out the gender. And we want to do it in our own unique way. Definitely. So gender reveals have been in the news a lot over the past couple of years. They've of, definitely gotten a bad name. Of, of human beings doing just like terrible things to reveal the gender of their baby. Yeah. I actually saw a, an article. There's a woman who is credited with the first gender reveal back yeah. in 2008. And she just did it with a cake. But she was like technically the first person or the first person that the internet knew of mm -hmm. to do it. But she had to come out and make a statement. Because after the, so the San Bernardino fires a few years yeah. ago that burned down like 20,000 acres or something. She had to come out and be like, even though I created this, please stop doing this and burning down areas. Ugh. I want to do it in a way that, you know, isn't dangerous to nature or anybody else. Right. I want to do it in a way that isn't like blue or pink. Because number one, 
I hate baby pink. And pink is my color. So. <laughs> like I like neon pink, mm -hmm. I like fuchsia, hot pink, Barbie pink even. Pink like our chairs. But I, I hate baby pink because it yeah. is associated with flu flu -ness and just like, Mur, I hate it. I So I don't want to do... The right. traditional like baby blue, baby pink. Yep. You know, there was that. I had thought about this before this went viral about doing like a sorting hat instead of a mm -hmm. gender reveal. Like what house are they? And if they get Gryffindor, they will be a boy because that's your house. And if they get Slytherin, that means they're a girl because it's mine. Yeah. But then this this video went viral last month of somebody kind of doing that. But I think they were doing, it wasn't a sorting hat. It was still like blue or pink that came out mm -hmm. of the cauldron. They made Got like it. a Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They were both dressed or, up in their yeah, like, robes, their house, house robes. House robes. Sweet. We have some high expectations for our We do. Reveal. We have some ideas. We cannot discuss them on this episode. No, we can't. We got some wheels in motion. Got some things in play. Got some emails sent out to some people. That's if it. If we can pull it off. I do want this like moment of like like opening a Christmas gift. Like yeah. I want that moment yeah. between us. So a cake isn't a guaranteed thing. I was I was doing some research about what? Uh, about gender reveals and there was this couple in Australia and they thought we'll just go to a baker and say, "Hey, bake us a cake with this color for a boy, this color for a girl." And they get the cake and they're really excited. They film their whole families there and they cut it open. And it's just a yellow cake with white frosting inside. Oh, no. <laughs> and everyone's confused. And like, did we get the wrong cake? And then someone pointed out that the frosting was a light blue color. And oh the baker just God. didn't understand what what the point of it was. <laughs> and so they made the cake blue for a boy. So surprise, you're having a oh, boy. Oh, <laughs> that's so anticlimactic. Yeah. You saw the one where so the dad is holding like a big balloon mm -hmm. and they ask the four year old daughter yeah, to go. Yeah, I don't buy that. That <laughs> I sniffed out. That was a that was a fake stage. I sniffed that out. First of all, a child with scissors. <laughs> that in itself second of all she was walking straight to cut the mm -hmm. string there were so many opportunities for someone to intervene and see where this was going and they didn't staged so is that the state of gender reveals in america that you just want staging to go viral yeah. hey i'd rather Do you think they even had a baby coming <sighs> where you draw the line with the lies <laughs> i mean i'd rather have that than you make a forest fire yeah you know yeah I mean, there's ones where like dad shooting the the smoke bombs off and then hitting themselves in the nuts. <laughs> <There's> like... <laughs> there seems to be more fails than successes. Yeah. Okay. So speaking of genders, so since we don't know if it's a boy or a girl yet, but we still are kind of like researching names. Yeah, obviously it's a natural. We're going to do a little name game. I came up with 10 names. Sean came up with 10 names and we're going to say them to each other and see what we think. Okay. So... If it's a boy, I want it to be a strong quarterback name. And if it's a girl, I want it to be an old lady name. <laughs> Just going in real opposite directions. Here. Yeah. Okay, so why don't I go first? Okay, you go first. Probably wouldn't choose any of these names, but yeah. these are these are 10 of the most ridiculous old lady names that okay. I could find. I love that like our first stab at naming our baby is just like jokes. Yeah. <laughs> that feels right. Yeah. Feels on brand. Nothing it's nothing too serious. Yeah. Okay, first one. Gertrude. <laughs> Gertie. 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 I like Gertie. Gertie's cute. Gertrude. Okay, next one. Dorothy. Dorothy. Do you like this? <laughs> no. no, I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> I think Dorothy's a no for me. Okay. Blanche. <laughs> Now I'm just doing Golden Girls Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, no. I mean, that's amazing, but... We're having a 60-year-old. Yeah. Um, Bernice. Bernie. Bernice. Bernice. Yeah. I'm not hating these as much as I thought I would. <laughs> okay. Okay. This one I really like, but we can't use it. Betty. Betty. It's a Taylor Swift song. Why can't we do Betty? I don't know. Can we do Betty? <laughs> okay. Betty Casey. That sounds like a grandma. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, Geraldine. Geraldine. <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> Jerry. That from might succession. be. Oh, I was thinking the Spice Girl. <laughs> Maybe. I wonder if that's her full name, Geraldine. Maybe. I didn't even know there was a female version of Gerald. Mm. Oh, is it? Wow. That's what that is. I think so. Jerry with a G. Yeah, Jerry with a G. All right, here's a good one. Okay. Mildred. Mildred. <laughs> It just sounds like mildew. Uh huh. Yeah. Poor Mildred. Yeah. Mildred has no friends. Mildred. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Prudence. Prudence. Prudy. Prue. Do you know Prue? Yeah. So her name is Prunella. Oh, that's so British. Mm -hmm. The last one. Myrtle. Myrtle. Moaning Myrtle. Moaning Myrtle. <laughs> 
Myrtle. Myrtle Casey. Murdy. Murdy. I like all the names you can like shorten to Birdie, Beady, Murdy. Beady, Murdy. That sounds like murder. <laughs> Murdery Myrtle. Hey, Murdy, what's your name short for? Murder. <laughs> okay, what do you have? Okay, so the backstory here is that my grandpa was a quarterback and my dad was a quarterback. I was a quarterback. Brother was a quarterback. And so there's a lot of pressure on this baby if it's a boy that they need to be a star quarterback. Okay. And so. Hey, my grandma was an old lady. <laughs> my grandma's grandma was an old lady. We're just setting them up for, for success. Should, so, I mean, should we say that you're kind? You're joking. There is no pressure for our child. Yeah, totally. It's, unless it is to be for sure oboe <laughs> or the best at something. Yeah. They don't have to play football if they no, don't want to. not at all. Um, no, this is 100% a joke, obviously. But if but. it's a girl, I want my little Giants moment. And if she wants to play football, then she can. Icebox. Yeah. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you I, I, love, I love this list so much. Okay. <laughs> First one, Gunner. Oh, Gunner geez. Casey. That's a strong quarterback name. That's Friday Night Lights for sure. Yeah. We're going to have to move to Texas. <laughs> oh, it gets more Texas-y. Okay. <laughs> What else you got? Actually, next one, Colt. Colt Casey. I think the alliteration really works. Colt was my high school mascot. Cape Fear Colts. Colt Casey. Colt Casey. Okay, next, Striker. Striker. I kind of like that one. Really? Striker Casey. Actually, I would love it if Striker Casey was for a share oboe. Just blow everyone's mind. Mm -hmm. Big musical theater kid. I mean, this next one could go any direction. Rocky. Rocky? No. One of my bullies in elementary school was named Rocky. Yeah, I mean, Rocky is kind of a bully name. Bully. No. <laughs> and his older brother was named Peanut. Okay. So, what? <laughs> this was in the mountains of Virginia, y'all. So, if not Rocky, what about Rambo? Oh, my God. <laughs> Rambo Casey. QB1. No, absolutely not. <laughs> Maverick. Maverick. I feel like that's going to be a Maverick very Casey. popular name. Because of Top Gun. Yeah. Maverick Casey Gunslinger. I love that bar in PB. Mavericks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mav. What up, Mav? Rick. Remember when we named Godric and we were like, I bet his nickname it's will be, be Rick. Rick. <laughs> and then we call him Gotti. We have never, ever called him Rick. Okay. Apollo. Apollo. That's a successful name right there. Yeah. I mean, we went from Rocky to Apollo. I'm just sensing like any, a theme, any Rambo. Jeez. Did you just Google like Arnold Schwarzenegger movies? <laughs> it's not Arnold Schwarzenegger. Sylvester Stallone. Rambo? Is he Sylvester Stallone? 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 Stallone was the name of a bouncer at my favorite bar in college. His real name? I don't know. Stallone? <laughs> you don't mess with Stallone. Okay. <laughs> what else you got? Uh, um, Thor. Thor? Yeah, Thor Casey. What? Thor? We know they're going to be big. Why don't we just name him Wolverine? No, absolutely not. Don't don't insult me. Deadpool. Batman. Thor, Thor is a legit name. No, it is not. Yes, it is. Okay, so Thor's a no. Hunter. Hunter is a great name. Hunter Casey. Hunter Casey. Yeah, that's not bad. Cannon. Cannon? Cannon Casey. Alliteration again. Cannon Casey is a bully. What's up, Can? Cannon? Cannon. He can Cannon. throw the ball so far. He's got a cannon. He's got a cannon. You can't just like name your kid after things you want them to have. <laughs> I I think you can. I think you can. Okay. Why don't we name ours college degree? <laughs> Gifted <laughs> and talented. It's not fun. Perfect SAT score. I mean, you do see people who have this name and you're just like, oh my gosh, you that is the perfect name for you as a person. I can't, I can't Cannon believe, is not I can't on the believe list. I can't believe that that's a thing. Cannon is a veto. Okay. Uh, last one. My favorite one. Cutter. Cutter <laughs> Casey. What's up, Cut? I like Cutter, but you no. You do? I like Cutter. Can we just name our child if it's a boy? I just think it's ridiculous. We can't name a kid Cutter. <laughs> okay, so that's that's it. That's, uh, any of those stand out to you? No. But while I was doing my research about names, I was I was into college football names and quarterbacks. And like, there's a whole like Reddit thread about like great names for football. Do you want me to read you a few of them? Not really. Okay, here you we go. Do it anyway. Yep. So Colt McCoy. That's like that's the number one quarterback name. Just pew, pew. Colt McCoy, quarterback, Gun, gunslinger. Yeah. Uh, there's there's a guy. Uh, he used to be at USC. I don't know where he is now. His name is Jackson Dart. Jackson Dart. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, this is this guy is pretty famous for his name. Uh, Jim Bob Cooter. Sean. What? Stop it right now. That's a real name. Jim Bob Cooter. Jim Bob Cooter. 
His last name is Cooter. Yep. And his first name is Jim Bob. I hate this world sometimes. <laughs> what if we name them after my college dorm? There's three options we could name them after. Okay. Parker, Graham, or Avery. Those are all Andy and Lindsay's kids. <laughs> Except for Avery. Avery's oh. an option. That's oh. the dorm I actually they- lived in. Or what if we named it after Franklin Street? which was the street that I drank on in college. Franklin, Frankie. How about Carmichael? That just, was the name of the old basketball gym at Carolina. I do have a guy from UNC. Smith. On my list. Dean Smith. Smith. No. Smith Casey? Come no, no. on. Get out of here. Uh, there's a guy who plays for UNC right now. He's a defensive back, and his name is Storm Duck. <laughs> What? His last name is Duck? Yeah, Storm Duck. I don't know what we're going to do to name our child. <clears throat> I, I mean, we probably have to like actually try seriously. Carmichael Casey. He's in finance. <laughs> Wall Street bro. Carmichael. Where's a Patagonia vest? Don't hate Carmichael Casey. Carm- Literation is nice. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. What if they just name after my maiden name? Powell Casey. Powell Casey. Would that be confusing? Pacow. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Kapow, but drunk. Yeah. Doesn't even make sense. <laughs> the cow. <laughs> oh no. Uh, <sighs> we've been going too long. <laughs> Naming children is gonna be very t- tricky. All right. Well, this was fun to finally get to talk about our baby that we have just been pretending wasn't a thing for, yeah. s- for so many months. Yeah, I'm excited. What What do you think is the future of our content, content? now? Yeah. I mean, the, kind of. That's why we launched the podcast. Just gives us more opportunities to talk about something that isn't alcohol driven mm-hmm. i'm opening myself up to obviously want to review a bunch of na drinks different mm-hmm. mocktails i think mocktails should be called fucktails because it's way more fun to say yeah get fucked <laughs> that's the tagline you've been working on that it's been upstairs for a while yeah brewing all right well good job guess. good job on the sex oh my god <laughs> we're kapout we're i'm kapout out of here I'm pregnant and we're kapout <laughs> goodbye goodbye